when I punched out at 5 p.m. Okay, guys, so we've found ourselves in a bit of a dilemma. I found the strength to get to the bar. Crack a cold beer sitting in my car. I was feeling buzzed when I... Oh. In the corner was a perfect 10. Now I ain't one to spread the truth. Proudly brought to you by iCheck TPMS. We are picking up from last week's episode. We are hooked up, ready to leave McGowan's. Now, it's been, it was an awesome few days. If you haven't seen last week, fishing was turned too good for me. But we got ourselves this little situation. Um, we mentioned last week that Karumba Road doesn't have fuel. Now, we filled up with diesel in Drysdale. We drove straight up to McGowan's and we did 200, 212 kilometers. We have not been anywhere in this car other than just to drop the boat off down by the beach, which is 100 meters away. And now we're gonna make And it hang on, let me just see if I can turn the steering wheel here. Just a tickle over half a tank to get here. And we have to now make it back to Drysdale. There's no fuel in Karumbaroo. Enough dribble. Let's jump in. Let's knock out six hours. How you doing, dear? Ready to go. This is just the start of the bad road out. Just calling, probably the worst road conditions we've been in, in Australia to be fair. I don't think we've seen worse than this road. A little bit of a lean. Ooh. I reckon this front wheel's got a bit of lean there actually. Because you gotta be so careful, pay attention to you. Epic start to your morning. <laughs> yes, it's just yeah. You pull out the cam gun. It's just go, go, go. Hello. Bring you know. I remember going in, but because you're coming up and uphill, you don't want to ride the clutch too much. So you've got it in four wheel drive, but at the same time, I'm trying to reserve fuel. So I think that's the worst of it in terms of that up steep rocky stuff. Now it's like it just it's, the it's just the corrugations, a little narrow sandy trap. And then into Karumbaru. Gotta watch um, we don't get stoned like we did on the way in, but these corrugations are pretty bad. Holy moly. Yeah, so if you're wanting to come up to McGowan's, like every, every year, this truck will change. I don't know for the good or for the worse, but. See, look at all these rocks here. You got a really, and you got a stick hanging out. I'm just gonna try and attempt to go straight on. Oh, there's a big. Oh, mate, this is this is really slow going. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm a bit nervous about the fuel when I offer to walk the rubbish over to the tip. I'm like, don't drive, don't drive. I'll walk. See, my legs have free fuel. So, along the gear, you have these tips. This is outside of um, Karambaru. 
and um, do the right thing. You can't, you can't, there's no bins at McGowan's or anything. You've got to come back out here to uh, dump the rubbish. Have you got here? We've stopped up on the road in the middle of nowhere on the Gibb to help out this couple. They've got a pregnant lady heading into town and um, we've jump started him. And old Derek yeah. has managed to swindle some diesel off these fellas. Oh, yeah. Mate, a bit of cash like in the middle of nowhere. Mate, we're all in the middle of nowhere. Bit of, bit of barter on the Gibb, love. Bit of cash and a oh, bit of shit. good karma for helping them with their car. There you yeah, go. There you go. Mate, you scratch my back, I'll scratch oh, yours. No. I've, got a, I've got a funnel inside, like a food funnel, we'll just use that, yeah? Yeah, we're going to have to just use right. it. These guys want to go. I'll too, go get so. it. Burning it. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, man. What's going on? It's all over me. Yeah, yeah I'm going to just uh, buying some diesel, mate. Otherwise, I wasn't making Drysdale. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's expensive, but it'll get me there. Yeah. But I don't have a nozzle. Yeah. 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 Good stuff, guys. Oh, mate. I can run the air con again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get in liquid there. gold. <laughs> liquid gold on the gib. What are the chances? Good old job there, love. Oh boy. Just, a, just took a chance, didn't I? Good old gib barter. <laughs> Fighting the flies, but that's okay. Oops. Don't waste it. So it turns out that poor couple who broke down, flat battery. They were here all night. Yeah. Look at this piece of road absolutely nothing around you so it just shows you you need to be prepared um well i know we went these cars that helped us out are actually from a, a like a station out here and uh i just asked them because they said they came out because they thought they that couple had lost um run out of fuel so i just said mate you got some diesel and he was like oh they weren't going to but then he come and I gave him 100 bucks for it, so for 20 litres of diesel, it is what it is. We have now over a half a tank of fuel, so we've got the aircon. We're feeling good! we air got the aircon going. We're, uh, <laughs> oh, we're going to make it, baby. Drysdale, that diesel helped us out big time. I've just seen now that 
we would not have made it no. on and and just but i'd say 30 k short but um let's get in here let's get civilized have a shower clean laundry clean get the laundry going change the linen order my pub feed I'm back <laughs> on the pub feed here tonight and a cup of cold beers i reckon oh i love it Here we are. We have arrived, haven't we, love? We have. We've had a shower. We're feeling a million bucks. I've yeah. done about 10 tons of laundry. What are you up to? Mate, mate, this canopy does not seal. So everything is full of dust. And I'm just trying to stay, uh, uh, you know, ahead of things as, as such. But on the way up, I just remembered. I never really gave you a, a whip around the park. No, there's not much here. Tomorrow night, you have the, sh the shop with the um, unleaded and diesel. They had fuel when they And got some here. basic supplies as well. Very, listen to me, very basic supp supplies. If you're coming in on Derby, stock up at Mount Barnett. I don't know what the rest is like. These are powered sites. So when we came up, we started in the unpowered site, but we needed power because um, we need to charge everything up. Uh, what we worked out, 14 days off grid. And run the aircon, let's and, be honest. And, and just run the aircon. <laughs> because my computer at the moment, it's so outdated that when it hits peak hour in the day, for about four or five hours, my computer barely even runs. It gets that hot. So to get ahead of stuff and catch up, we're running the aircon. But in the middle, you have a very clean, rustic. Great say, water pressure. Showers. showers. Sue, I had a shower there on the way up. You had a shower when we got here. Brilliant. Now and a laundry, because I've used the laundry. Yes, the laundry. Sixty-five bucks an hour for power with no water. Ooh. But you fill up with water in the middle of the the servo joint there. Mm -hmm. You can get water. So when we came in, put diesel in, filled up with water. And when I leave, I've got diesel already. Are we going to go through top up? And here we go now into something exciting. But all that driving. And the, and the work and this heat is brought on a thirst. Let's go. Hell, I come 40,000 miles over here to see what them pretty little lips gonna do to me, baby. But every single time that I come around, I seen you got another man trying to keep you down. Baby. What do you got, darling? Way, I've got a, a booger. How's that? Look at this. Let me turn it. Remote. Let me turn it. Look at this. Although there are that I'm many flies around it. How do they do it? I don't know. I think they're running a bit low on coal mm -hmm. floor. And, sorry. Hello. Yellow tail. So, I mean, this would normally put you back. Thank you. $9 to $11. Here it's $45. Oh, look out. Look out. Oh, damn. This makes us Get very out. happy and excited. Oh. Sirloin, that cold egg, going to waste. gravy, <laughs> chips. Oh. What do you got over there, mate? I've got that Sanger. Oh. Full pork Sanger. Oh. Mm. oh my goodness. Full Haley pork can't talk right now. She's about Sorry, to eat off going in the golf. Guys, we're going to have walk. a fat feed here. I can tell you that right now. Well, there you go. Drysdale for the last time. Dinner last night, i got to say. I think we've said it many times. If you're coming up to Mitchell's Falls, you've got to stay here and go and have a feed. Like, the food is good. The burgers are massive. And the chips are, hoo hoo, great. But, here we go. So, I'm going to drop fuel in over there. We're going to get some water. And then, I think we said this, there's a few of these dump points, dump places where you can dump your rubbish. And there's one opposite Drysdale um, station. So when we go out, we'll find that. We'll throw our rubbish away. And then we're only going about 50k south to an absolute incredible spot. We've heard about it. We've passed it. We didn't stay on the way up. But we're going to go and check it out. What is she doing? So, oh, God. That's the go, dear. Yay! And the tip straight ahead. Look at that. Well, I want to take a ride in the wheel bearing your mind Take me all around to the thinking places where you spend your time 
Ain't no place I'd rather go You're a funny little critter and I love you so And I wanna take a ride in the wheelbarrow in your mind Well, here we are The camp we've been absolutely waiting for to camp at and we've nabbed ourselves a spot now We're not gonna get too tricky and try and get onto the uh, creek bed We have found a spot here. Brad's gonna swing his van around. We'll sort our vans out in a minute but check this out. Now we've still got our floaties. I've kept the floaties from when we did coconut wells. Check this out. Oh yes, so. Now the water has definitely come down from a week ago. We crossed this a week ago. That's okay. See, a lot of people get up onto this creek bed here, but that is super boggy. But look at this. We're not far, we're gonna reshuffle ourselves. A lot of fire down here tonight. Mate. Someone call Barry. Tell him we're living. Let's get this all sorted. Let's get our van sorted. And um, just, you know, have something to eat. Blow the floaties up. Have a bloody swim, eh? This is how our afternoon's been. Floaties going. Hey? Huh? Is this how our afternoon's going? Yeah. Oh, mate. How good is that? Woo! Now he can't. Gotcha! You Wally! <laughs> oh, this is so good on the creek. <gasps> you got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't. What an epic afternoon we've had here. Jumping off the, this little rock here, swimming with our floaties. Absolutely spot on. But let's get into that time of the night. Check this out. Someone kindly left us the wood. Look at this. Fire going. Hang on, let me give you the full um the full go here. Camp. Brad, look at this. Look at that. Swing around. Oh mate, you are joking. Mate, we have got some really good meat to hang over this fire that I can't wait to get going. Okay. But first, while, that, while we accumulate some coals, I'm gonna sink a few tins, I think. Yes, Patsy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> My mother told me, don't sit here waiting for a sign. As Derek would say, washing up, going on here. cleaning up, packing away, but we have a situation, it's a sad moment. The clock has decided to move away from the wall, so we're going to have to take that off properly this time. And then we're travelling on with corrugations today to a place called? Elimbra. 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 And what happens there? Oh, so you get a bath. Well. We hope so because. Oh, I hope so. I'm willing to pay double. I'm willing to pay. I will barter for a bathtub because I'm that. So, not only am I addicted to coffee, I'm addicted to bathtubs as well. 
You sparked twice a day, right? So we'll take the clock off and um, we're packing up. It is only 10 to 9 and we live in this amazing camp. camp by the creek like that is amazing but we have 80 k's after we've left um, like I said we are copping a bit of corrugations and a lot of like dips at the moment not too bad considering the rest of the road we've been on though yeah look it's the corrugations are not that bad lots of little floodways so I'm just going in gently you know and coming out gently but other than that it's beautiful yeah. 